All right, what's up guys? Comic Books vs. The World here with some huge news. Now, as a lot of you guys might remember, I did a few videos a while ago about a fan game being developed by a team led by this guy Tekosaurus called Crisis on Earth 1, an Arrowverse fan game. It had its ups and downs over the course of its development, but it eventually turned into an adaptation of the 2017 Crisis on Earth X crossover, with a wide range of playable characters, locations, and collectibles to interact with. It probably would have been an awesome game too. At least if Warner Brothers didn't eventually hit the game with a cease and desist, effectively shutting it down forever. But even though we may not be able to actually play the game anymore, there is still a bit of a silver lining here. Turns out Teko and the dev team had been recording tons of gameplay footage towards the end of development. I'm not entirely sure why they recorded any of this stuff, like maybe they wanted to do a day one trailer, or try to find all the different bugs in the game, share them with each other, or something like that, I don't really know. Either way though, Teko gave me access to the entire stack of videos, including a full playthrough of the game. Seriously, I'm so excited to check it out. So let's not waste any more time here, let's check out part one of the full playthrough of Crisis on Earth 1, an Arrowverse fan game. Alright, I like that menu, that's pretty cool looking. Load screen's pretty cool. Probably could have been animated like the menu, I guess, but yeah, it's alright. Oh yeah, I forgot they were doing cutscenes in this. You know, it looks fine, I guess. I don't know. That filter on it is just ridiculous, though. Alright, there we go. Starting off with some Flash gameplay. Learning how to run through McDonald's arches. No map, though. That's a little weird. Seriously, no map or compass? Didn't Teko say they were doing something like that in one of the update videos, though? Is that a hole in the ground? Looks like grass. Oh, okay, cool. That's how we learn flash time, I guess, with just one one click. Oops, somebody got stuck. I believe I can fly. Alright, so now he's gonna go fight King Shark, I guess. Wait, was King Shark just hanging around outside Star Labs? Does he do anything else other than just run at you? I mean, that's pretty cool though, just phasing through stuff. That's cool. Throwing lightning, okay. Oh geez, that boss was certainly tough. I'm glad we got to see an experienced gamer get through that. Barry has learned to control his speed and his powers by taking down King Shark before doing too much damage. However, we're not too sure why a few people haven't RSVP'd yet. I'm sorry, but that filter is just ridiculous. I mean, it washes out too much detail. Couldn't they have just, like, arranged the models or something? Like, had them pose, you know, for, to recreate the panels? Oh, hey, thanks for the instructions. Okay, so far so good. Controls seem pretty smooth at least. Oh hey look, it's a Bebo. I really like the ragdoll effects on these guys, it's, it's pretty good. Again, where's their long-range attacks? 
Did, did these guys not do anything? They just run at you? Yeah, I guess so. Nope, oh, nope. Time to run away, I guess. And he got stuck. <laughs> he got ambushed. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Is there anything else he needs to do? Yeah, okay, apparently you just gotta f*** around for a bit and then it'll let you go. Oliver was able to subdue the ninjas in the warehouse. Meanwhile, Felicity RSVPs to Barry and Iris' wedding. Kara and Alex are still yet to RSVP, though. Moving on to Earth 38. No cutscene this time. Okay. Oh, got stuck again. I do like the, <laughs> the Superman 64 throwback, though. That's pretty good. He's in spacebar to fly. Where are we going? Going through... Sonic the Hedgehog's Ring Collection. That's where we're going. All over the city. Alright Lex, we solved the maze. Can we see our friends now? Still no map by the way. No map or compass. And I like that there's no, like, limit on the heat vision. No no meter, no nothing to keep it from, you know, being overused. Oh, look, oh, wait, where are we going? Oh, oh, wait, there's Bebo on there. Do, 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 do. Oh, let me get this Bebo real quick. I'm gonna save the city. <laughs> Hold up, Dominators. I'm gonna... The f***? Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Okay, round two, here we go. Just gonna fuck these guys up real quick. Then we're gonna fly around somewhere, I guess. Just fly all over the city. And yeah, see what I tell you. Definitely not being overused, by the way. At least they gave it a, like a limited range, you know what I mean? So you can't just like stand way off in the distance and hit somebody. Alright, one Dominator down. Oh wait, they're both down. Huh. Do they need to do something else? Just gonna go back for that Bebo, I guess, real quick. Oh, God damn it! All right, third time's the charm here. Just gonna kill these guys, go kill those Dominators, move on. Dominators are attacking the city. Yeah, no, we. I think we get that. Oh, okay, I guess it won't let you go unless you actually try to punch one of these guys. Alright, well one's dead. I hope this guy punches one of them, because otherwise we're going to have to watch this again. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. Jeez, your health goes down so fast in this game. <laughs> and then he's just going to stand there. Yep, he's dead. Okay, so I guess it lets you go then. Over on Earth-38, Supergirl has learned to fly and learned to use heat vision. After a minor attack from the Dominators, Supergirl has been invited to the wedding of Barry and Iris, who are now getting prepared for the big event.
Star Labs looks pretty nice, though. There's Felicity, and there's the Green Arrow. Why are they in Star Labs? I don't know, but oh well. Season 4 suit. Now I know in the Free Roam gameplay we got to see the other one was the Season 5 suit. That looked pretty cool. I hope we get to see it in the playthrough at some point. Don't mind me, Barry Allen, the fastest man crashing into walls. Alright, so I guess we're moving on to the church level. I wonder what those other doors are. Dominator. Year. Welcome to you all. I'm honored to be presiding over the wedding of Barry Allen and Iris West. Although I don't know them well, I know that this is a good match. How do I know that? Well, <clears throat> because of you. Because of all of you looking out at their friends and their family and seeing the joy on all your faces seeing how happy you are for them tells me everything i need to know it tells me that these two people deserve to be together they deserve to be happy and fulfilled and they deserve a long life together does anyone have just cause why these two should not be married speak now or forever hold your peace <laughs> Peace is overrated. Okay, what are we starting with this time? Starting with Barry Allen. You are currently in flash time. Catch the projectiles. Oh, wait, those? You have to run around and catch those? From everybody in the room? You can't... You can barely see where that shit is! Holy fuck. What's the next part? Oh, there we go. We got stuck with a glitch already. Cisco's like, don't mind me. I'm just going to stand here. Is it bothering anybody else that we're not getting any, like, music or anything during these fight scenes? It's just, you know, noise. Like Cisco's still just shooting the ground. <laughs> How many of these vibe blasts is he shooting off? While aiming, press middle click to set location. Then press left click to spawn a breach. Oh jeez, he takes out so much of your health with one hit. He's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. I like that nobody else is attacking you, by the way. And Cisco's still just shooting. That's right, Ollie, blow him up. With your no meter explosive arrows. Which seem to be doing nothing. Okay, I get it. We're gonna grapple up there. That works. Or no, we'll just grapple outside. That works even better. Hey guys, don't mind me, I'm part of your squad now. I 
That grapple arrow is pretty strong. You can just <laughs> you can just plow right through everything. I assume the idea is just he just wants to die so they can restart the level. But wait, that counted! That let him go! And now we get White Canary fighting some Nazi soldiers. Pretty cool. I don't know why they're all blood splattering while she's hitting them, but okay. Alex just shooting people. That oh, ran out of bullets. Okay, we're not gonna reload. We're just gonna beat them with our bare hands. That works too. She seems to have more defense than, than Green Arrow did. Apparently Heat Wave got on a trampoline at some point. Killer Frost, okay. I don't know where she's thinking she's going to start sailing off to. <laughs> Don't get clipped through the wall again. Okay, what's next? Supergirl! Yeah, these guys shouldn't be hurting her at all. She should just be able to stand there and laser everybody to death. And then Overgirl just shows up. Oh, wait, wait, where's she going? Oh no! Flying all over the place, stuck in stuff. Somebody's on the roof. Punches are super weak and don't seem to be doing anything. Freeze Breath doesn't seem to do anything either. I have absolutely no idea what's going on right now. Oh, but apparently she died, so that works. The Nazis have crashed the wedding, but why are they here and what do they want? Sarah and Alex were able to capture Prometheus, but the others have escaped. Time to question Prometheus. Back to Star Labs. Or we can just be Heat Wave. You think this is a glitch? I think it's a glitch. Seems like closing and opening the game is the only way to fix that one. And Barry apparently doesn't need to put on his super suit, he just needs to wear a tuxedo. That woman didn't seem surprised to see me. How did she even know you were on this earth? And how was she as strong as you? That archer matched me, shot for shot. You know, I think it's time we got some answers. Wardrobe. That doesn't make any sense. It does if we're not dealing with an anachronism. Visitors from another Earth? Oh, there are more than one. There are 52, actually. I'm hard pressed to think of one where Nazis are ascendant. I can. There's a 53rd Earth, and it's called Earth X. Basically, our Earth. Same history, same. Oh, there's a typo. Crucial, critical difference. But they hypothesize. The Nazis developed the atomic bomb before the United States did, and they're more than happy to use them. Yes, the Nazis won the war. The week will be eliminated, your entire world will be enslaved, but you, you, you won't be around to witness it. 
is going to feel your skull crack under the weight of his boot. Everyone you care about, everyone you love, they're going to die badly in ways that would give even monsters nightmares. I really wish that I could live to see it. Alright, well now that we just saw a guy kill himself, where to next? Over to the main computers, I guess. Breaking it down in optical systems. I know this sounds terrible, but maybe we should let the police handle it. I mean, we need our peeps to focus on the Nazis. This is Nazis. I'll go get Barry. So what do we know about this place? Why are the Earth Xers targeting it? Because they had something in there. Whatever you stole, we're gonna want it back. Your confidence is predictable. You face some of the greatest evils known to man, and you've defeated them. If you think so highly of yourself, you can defeat any threat that comes your way. How do you feel about us? This is not your Earth. Leave. I don't answer to the likes of you. My allegiance is to the Fatherland and to my wife. No Last chance. Go home. And what do you think that's going to do? Bullet comes off of you. This arrow won't. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on. Now look, I had a reaction to this, but I'm gonna throw it all out because I have to go on a bit of a rant here. This one level, I think pissed me off the most out of everything else in this first act. Now look, this level split into three different sections. You got one for Green Arrow, Supergirl, and The Flash. Makes sense, right? I mean, they were sort of the main characters of this part of the crossover, so whatever, that's fine. Now the first part starts off with Green Arrow. You just have to go around killing people on this building. Again, there's no meter or anything for this arrow, so whatever. Just go around blowing people up, it's fine. The grapple controls seem a little wonky, so being able to actually lift yourself up and swing around or anything seem a little hard to do, but whatever, it's fine, that part's not really a big deal. The next part though, the Supergirl part, is where things start to go insane. I mean, all you gotta do is weld the eye beams together with your heat vision. It doesn't sound so hard, except for the fact that these little markers here get really confusing because the whole building looks exactly the same. You could just be sitting somewhere thinking you're hitting one of the markers, but then it turns out, nope, just kidding, it's actually hidden behind some of these other eye beams here. But even that's still not as infuriating as this part right here, this flash part. This right here, I think, is the most insane thing I think I've seen in this entire game. You're supposed to run around and catch people as they're falling off this building, which again doesn't sound so hard, except for two big problems. First off, the little tracker thing telling you where the people are, it doesn't follow the camera. So if you look away from them, you can't see the tracker. You have to be looking in their general direction to see where they're falling. I mean, think like in Spider-Man 2. Like, remember when you'd have to save people falling off of buildings, or when you'd have to get a balloon or something? You'd still have the little marker on screen that helps you orient yourself and see where you're going. You don't get that here. You have to constantly be looking up and question how long you want to look at Barry's shoes or ass the entire time you're running around. But on top of that, you can't just stand under somebody, otherwise they're just gonna fall. No, you actually have to be moving. So the whole time they're falling, you have to jitter yourself around and hope that you can stand under somebody long enough to actually catch them. 
Then you have to stop so you can drop them off and move on to the next person. And you have to do this 11 times. I don't know, maybe it's just crazy to me because I don't really play a lot of PC games. Maybe the controls really aren't that difficult. I don't know. All I can tell you is what I'm seeing and it just looks crazy. Anyways, rant over. Let's get on with the rest of the game. Green Arrow, Supergirl, and The Flash were able to save the construction site and its workers. However, the new Reichsman got away with the device. It's time to regroup and find out what they're planning. Site's clear. And stabilized. Nice work. Let's not celebrate just yet. We gave those doppelgangers the window they needed to escape. Escape with what? Dayton Optical Systems calls it the prism. What on earth did they need a sublight generator for? It's basically a spectral emitter that uses quantum, quantum entanglement. entanglement. This might help. Is that a kryptonite arrow? The other archer and flying woman are Oliver and Kara of Earth-X. And the Thon from our Earth is working with them. He's an idiot. Okay, that arrow has lots of Supergirl's blood on it. We could track it using quantum analysis. Okay. Hey guys, I think I might have a quicker way. These red blood cells are suffused with shortwave radiation. Solar radiation? Get incredibly high amounts, like nothing I've ever seen. Can you track it? Supergirl X's blood is filled with solar radiation more than it should be, but if I can kind of get that to act as a kind of beacon. Boom. Whatever's going on with Car X's blood, it's intensifying. Worse for her is better for us. Better for us for tracking her, at least. We should have her location any minute. Yep, that's right. You gotta save that game. Can't afford to go back and do that shit again. Definitely before heading back out, gotta change into a new outfit. Come on, season five, let's see that season five outfit. Nope, okay, we're gonna stick with season four. I think the guy playing this was trying to become the mannequin instead of actually going out there and being the player. Oops, got a little lost here. You know what might help here is a map. Okay, where is the next stage gonna be? A floating building. I knew it. So we're going firestorm, we're sweeping the perimeter. It's done. It's wall to wall Nazis in there. Star Labs thinks they converted the sublight generator, the prison that they stole, into some kind of super weapon. Speaking of super, theirs is our biggest threat. Agreed, let's take her out first. Alright, so the warehouse scene, cool. You can lose health so fast in this game. And there's nowhere you can heal, you have to just stop and look, your health comes back so slowly. You know what might help here is like some kind of power up, you know what I mean? Like a power up system. Like maybe something for more armor or something to make you go a little bit faster. And I know that seems a little weird since you already have superpowers, but I mean something, you know, to kind of pick things up. So, you know, because it seems like a lot of this is just like you run and hide, you run and hide. And there's not even, you know, the AI doesn't come after you. They just stand there. But when they do come after you, they don't shoot you. Like nobody, nobody does anything. All right, 
right, so second wave. We're doing exactly the same thing, but with the flash. At least we get to see what flash time looks like now. Very broken. Let's you fly all over the place. Kick somebody in the head. Oh, hey, there he goes. He goes flying. Where are you going? We're gonna hit that guy. Gonna hit that guy. That's pretty fun though. You know, out of all the characters we've seen so far, I gotta say, I think Flash is probably, I think Flash is better done than the rest of them. I think his powers are pretty fun. I think him running around crashing into stuff is pretty fun. You know, it just overall, it's pretty fun and it hasn't led to as many glitches, I think, as the rest of them. Here we go with Supergirl. Shouldn't be too long. And there we go, everybody's dead. What's the next part? Another one? Jeez, even this guy's PC can't handle all that fire. It's a little hard to see where you're aiming too. I mean, the fire is just huge. Maybe they could have toned it down or like turned down the brightness or something so you can see where you're aiming a little bit better. Because look, it covers up where everybody is. I don't know what that guy's doing up there, but whatever. He's dead. The other guy's still... See, this is what I'm talking about. You can't see where those people are. It's hard to aim anything. Didn't we just do this part? Survive their remaining forces. Where were these guys? And there's somebody at the end there. Defeat Overgirl. Overgirl? You have to beat Overgirl with Green Arrow? Come on. Come on. At least she doesn't move. Makes it pretty easy. But she's not dead though. A little concerning. Whoa, she moves way too fast. Come on. Oh, come on. That is a mismatch if I've ever seen one. No? Okay, you're meant to lose. All right. Then Barry's got to do the same thing. Oh wait, you can switch characters? All right. During the reverse flash fight. Wait, did he die? Today, Junior! Whoosh! Let me slide into those DMs. Eh, 
Okay, yeah, I think we're just gonna cut past this part. Well done. It wasn't a problem. The pain. Alright, because we found her. We found her, and now we have her. Now very soon this nightmare will be over, and I'll take you all. So stand. Star Labs is the cure. What do you want my sister for? To save my life. The general is dying. Her blood. She's been exposed to too much solar radiation. Yes. Like Icarus, I flew too close to the sun. But we can save her. We're going to save her. All we need is a new heart. And luckily, on this planet, we found the perfect donor. That's why you stole the prism? So you could duplicate a red sun, weaken car, and cut into her? Can't make an omelet with invulnerable eggs. I'm gonna kill you. The heroes were unable to defeat Overgirl or Reverse Flash. A confrontation reveals their plan to swap out Supergirl's heart. Now they have been apprehended by Metallo. During the raid on the shipping depot, Black Arrow seems to have already secured Star Labs. Meanwhile, at Star Labs, get to the breach room. I guess Killer Frost is just gonna leave? No? See, again, he's right there. Oh, he's going flying, I guess. But see, he's right there, just shoot! We're in the speed lab. That's not where we're trying to go. Again, you know what might help here is a map. It still kind of frustrates me that we haven't seen a map this entire time. Look, that guy, his hits are just going right through her. What are those guys doing? We're in the breach room. What are we doing here? Gonna shut down a breach. Okay. What else? Defeat Black Arrow. Where'd he come from? And she's dead. Get to the speed lab. Alright. You know what they probably should have done is had Killer Frost swap places, because she was already in the speed lab. That guy had zero peripheral vision. And then Black Arrow's just been waiting for him. Yep, and he clipped through something and died. Black Arrow has taken control of Star Labs. Killer Frost and Heat Wave have been apprehended and put into a cell. Felicity and Iris have escaped capture. Meanwhile, the rest of the heroes have found themselves in a concentration camp on Earth X. Alright, now that's where we're going to end things today. 
You know, honestly, as much shit as I've given this game, I gotta say it's a pretty good effort for Teko and the rest of the dev team. It's honestly not that bad, and I think with a bit more polishing, we probably could have seen an even better product. But as it stands right now, the gameplay does look pretty rough. It seems like there's a lot of critical elements that could have and should have been in here that they probably just didn't think about or they didn't have the time to put in before the cease and desist came or maybe they thought they would roll those out with future updates like when they fixed some of those bugs or something like that. I don't know. But either way guys, that's the first part of the full Crisis on Earth 1 playthrough. What'd you guys think of the gameplay? Does it look cool? Would you have still wanted to play it after seeing this? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys want to let Teko and the dev team know what you thought about the gameplay, head over to their Discord. I'm going to leave a link to it in the comments down below. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then go ahead and click that like button, and if you're new, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button too. I've also got links to my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and Patreon in the description. You should probably check those out too. And if you want to see more of my content, then you can click the link to my last video. It's right there in the middle of your screen. Alright, and I will see you all next time.